Hi everybody, this is Ellen from De Valera Library in Ennis and welcome to Storytime. I'm going to read a story called Monsters Not Allowed and it's written by Tracy Hammett and illustrated by Jan McCafferty and it's about a monster who just wants to go to school. So it's published by Scholastic uh, Children's Books in London. Okay, so here we go. A monster came to school one day he tiptoed through the gate. Here he comes, the monster. He slunk into the classroom grunting. Sorry, monster late. Oh, look at the kids look a bit scared, don't they? What's your name, Miss Murray asked. It said, monster forgot. And while she called the register, he scratched his you-know-what. It stumped into assembly and it did a funny walk while Mr. Jed, the deputy head, was giving a serious talk. And then in silent reading, when the class behaved so well, it let out lots of silly sounds and made a stinky smell. Ooh! It yammered, yipped and yodeled. It warped and whooped and whined. Miss Murray kept it in a play, but the monster didn't mind. He's a happy guy, isn't he? A very happy monster. We gave it our packed lunches and it snaffled up the lot. It must have liked the yogurt, cause it ate its spoon and pot. Mm. That's not the way to eat your lunch now. Sit up nicely, please, said Mr. Jed, the deputy head, as the monster scratched his fleas. Grow. We had a game of football and the monster scored a goal. And then in PE, we taught it how to do a forward roll. Each morning as we sat in class, our monster would appear. And when we saw his funny face, we all began to cheer. Yay! I'm so happy to see the monster. Then Mr. Jed, the deputy head, got very cross one day. So he made a great big sign that said, Monster, go away. <gasps> Mm, I think it's going to get sad. The monster sobbed, the monster sobbed, and wandered down the street. It hung its funny monster head, and he dragged his monster feet. And all at once the school went quiet, you couldn't hear a sound. Nobody sang, or skipped, or ran, or chased the leaves around. We are all very sad. The children wouldn't do their work or play a football game. We didn't even want our lunch. It didn't taste the same. I take it back, said Mr. Jed. He shed a tiny tear. Let's find the monster right away and bring him straight back here. We all worked hard in school that day and everyone stayed late. We painted monster posters and we hung them on the gate. Let's see what the, monster, what the poster said. Let's see now. Have you seen this monster skulking down the street? It has eyes as big as frisbees and funny bumpy feet. Have you seen this monster with freckles on his nose? It's hairy and it's purple from his head down to the toes. It's a very special monster, although it's not polite. So if you find it, bring it back. We promise it won't bite. I wonder if they found him. Hmm. Miss Murray found the monster. It didn't take her long. She spied it in the supermarket, singing silly songs. And when we brought it back to school, it grunted, Monster stay! So now it's joined our class for good. And it comes in every day. I'm glad the monster came to school. It's everybody's friend, said Mr. Jed, the deputy head, who liked it in the end. That's the class photo, isn't it? They're all happy. And this is his end of year report from Fidget School. And he's some encouraging bits here. Let's see. He gets a big well done for doing all your homework, eating your own lunch, not breaking any furniture, being a wonderful friend, just being you and working really hard. So that's the end of the story. The end. Hope you all enjoyed that. And we'll see you soon. Now, has anybody made daisy chains?
Bye.